my name's Jonathan Wantrap. I'm Executive Director of Australian Book Auctions. I've known Dennis for 40 years. My enduring memory of Dennis is just dropping in one day and showing you something and, and not saying very much, just wanting to show it to you and wanting to talk about it and then going away. And you never really knew what he was thinking. When you see his entire collection, you suddenly see what he was thinking. What Dennis has done is really quite extraordinary. echoes all the way through it. There are reverberations from the books to the paintings to the photographs, from the paintings to the photographs to the books. They're all over the place. Um, and that's part of the genius of what he did, which was to find connections and echoes between those different media. And that again is something that's very rarely done. I think the importance of the collection is the fact that it covers so many areas. A good collection tells a story. What Dennis has done is not try to tell a narrative story. It's almost an impressionistic story. There's a very strong element of the visual, even in the books. So if you take the collection, you can get, for instance, all the books and the photographs and the art on the Aborigines and put them all together. It's not a chronological narrative, but it's a narrative about the way in which the colonial population of Europeans saw the Aborigines between 1810 to about 1810. I think probably the best way to describe the highlights is to talk about the breadth of coverage of certain areas. He has an excellent subgroup of books on natural history with colour plates. Um, and, and that ties over, this is where we have the echoes again, that ties in with the voyages because he has the voyages in the best form with all the natural history plates colour. So the first natural history book on Australia is in fact the first voyage book. And there are lots of coloured plates in that of uh, fauna and flora. So that's an example of the, the, the highlights of the collection. It goes back to a tradition that really hasn't been carried through by a collector since David Scott Mitchell's William Dixon, Sir Rex Nankerville. All of those collections are in institutions. It is an attempt to display a period of history, in this case it's, it's the colonial Australia, through everything books, it's the documents, it's the paintings, it's the photographs, it's the fine paintings, it's the naive drawings. And it's quite an extraordinary achievement when you look at this as one person's work over 50 years. Mm -hmm.